Okay, hey everyone. So, just a quick update on the maglev tension system. So, we've been doing some prototyping, some experiments with the magnetic tensions. We've tried a lot more combinations. We've even tried polymagnets. Um, and we've gotten the weight down by like 40%, like a huge percent. So, um, this is another prototype where you see the magnets. And uh, this is the current prototype. Do you see how the size is smaller, but the strength is the same? Well, uh, you'll just have to take my word for it. Um, so with the smaller magnets, you still get the benefits of the wide flex, where you still have that modular tension. tensions where at low flex, it's really fast. But when you really deform the cube, it will fight the force you're putting on the cube and really push back. And we noticed that the corner cutting is actually greatly enhanced, like all the angles it cuts pretty much all of the angles. There's like one or two very slight ones and uh, that's only when this is like right over there and it only happens like one out of three times like even just then it was cutting but every angle that we could test it was cutting and then we started to realize just from magnets alone this doesn't make sense because cutting is the inherent property of the design of the puzzle and what we realized is we had to modify the center to accommodate the magnets. And in doing that, it changed the way the center moved. So um, this is a random cube I picked up. I believe this is a Shufeng, um, where the uh, centers are stationary. So when you flex the layer, when you flex the layer, you see how the pieces must move around the layer, but the center stays stationary. So. Um, I'll just draw a quick diagram. So on this sticky note, you'll see that this, these are the pieces. Um, when you flex the layer, the center stays in the same place. But with the maglev tension system, that's actually not what happens. Uh, that's OK, Waffle. It's a casual video. So I put this in front of the door. So sometimes stuff happens. So it's just a casual video. But with the maglev tension system, the whole center will actually flex and move about 10 degrees, maybe even 30, maybe not 30, but 15, 20 degrees. We haven't accurately measured, but the center will actually flex with the layer instead of this. And because of that, it accommodates so much more uh, corner cutting than normal, and on top of the extra flex, the magnetic attraction between the pieces, it leads to this ridiculous stability, and you get this crazy soft feeling because all the pieces are moving, but they're moving in, con in a concerted motion with the other pieces as well, because the magnets will hold it together, the magnet in the center allows it to flex, so these centers are actually undulating with the actual piece. So. If you look at this, look closely at the center, and you see how the center piece is actually flexing with the corner. And do you see how much it's flexing by? We can actually get to the very limit of where that piece will go. And since all of these centers are flexing, it accommodates so much more movement. So uh, to summarize, the benefits of the maglev tension system is uh, no spring tension, never wears out your centers, um, flexing centers, and that's not just one center, every center flexes with the layer moves, much wider flexing so you can accommodate way more corner cutting, and uh, modular tensions, so at low distortion when you're just turning accurately, uh, the pieces won't push against the center and it's fast, but when you really push it, when you really, really push it'll push back and keep everything uh, stable. So that was just a quick update on the maglev tension system. Um, we're still seeing the if we can get the price point right, because when we get the size down, we have to compensate with strength, and uh, the magnets end up costing more. We've gotten the price tuned. We've dropped the price. We've dropped the weight. We've upped the strength. But we're still doing a little fine tuning on the design. So that's maglev tensions. So thanks for listening.